Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick video and show you guys how I converted my Chicago Electric Carver Freight Inverter Arc Welder 110 volt to do some scratch start DC TIG. So basically how I got started with this is I wanted to try TIG welding and I wanted to do it really cheap to see if I liked it and I did so I invested in a better machine. But to get started I did this on the cheap. Um, here is the TIG torch I purchased off eBay and let me show you how we do this. So we have a small DINs connection. It's going to go on the negative, DC electrode negative. Okay, and then we have our long gas hose that's going to get plugged directly into the regulator. Okay, now let's take our ground cable, put it into the positive, ground the table. We got it plugged into 110, and let me throw some consumables in here, and then I'll show you guys how this works. This is also a gas valve on the torch because there's no gas solenoid inside the machine because stick welding doesn't use gas. So let me put this together, and uh, let's do a bead and see what happens. Okay, let's get set up now. Let's turn our gas on. And then we'll turn the machine on uh, right around 55 ish. But before we do, I got these two pieces tacked together. And this is lift arc. So, uh, to be on the safe side, I usually put a, something to hold down the material because it has a tendency to stick sometimes. And the way we're going to get the arc started is we're just going to rock the torch, touch the tungsten, and then lift it back up. Arc's going to start, we're going to do our weld, and then we're just going to lift it off, and we'll be done. And uh, when we're done, we'll have to close our gas right here. So let's put on our gear and get started. Okay, here's our quick bead. Let's see if we can get a good look at that. This is running around 55 amps on a piece of 16 inch, 16th inch plate. Um, you know, again, no high frequency start. This is just lift arc, you know, quick and dirty way to do it if you want to learn how to TIG weld and, you know, practice. Um, but nothing to be doing production stuff with, you know, short little runs great. Um, anything else you're going to want to look at something with a foot control. Um, so that's it. And uh, now we'll just turn this thing off and hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll put a picture of this up and then I'll put a link to where you can buy the TIG torch below. And then uh, go ahead and leave a comment. Have a good one.